What's going on? It's Alexander here, back with some more Assassin's Creed Origins. And walk a corridor of ruins, passing into the Hall of Judgment. There, a twin of myself. Why are the crocodiles everywhere? What were we speaking of? There, a twin of myself. This is a black stone heart onto the scales of my art. It is then that the god snake strike. Oh, come on! I'm trying, to I'm trying to finish this uh, conversation for you. It is then that the god snake strikes. Up it. Larger than a mountain. Larger than reason, a bow of light appears in my hands. I fight the snake and win, though not without injury. Then I rise through dark, choking waters to surface among lotus flowers. I claim my lost heart from an altar and travel to the field of reeds. In the distance, I see my son. When I reach for him, he turns to ashes. He? Thus is your true seeing unbound. <laughs> Here, the sacred island awaits our coming. God, these crocodiles. Would you be free of the curse that plagues your sleep? There is a ritual that will banish it from your mind forever. Yes. Do it then. Go beneath the waters south of here and bring up the statue of Gnome from the sunken temple of Ramses. With this likeness of the great potter to hand, the ritual can be performed. All right. Way over there. Where? Seriously, still not dead? There we go. There's there. Maybe though I can hide from it. Not be seen. What's that? There's that. Still not seen yet. Think we're good. I don't care about that rogue animal. <laughs> I'm in no position to fight it from where I'm at. Go. 
go do this ritual. Here is the statue. Gnum, Skalprav children. He will battle Apep in your place. This ritual needs your mind's strength. Sit by my side and meditate as I speak with the gods. Grow, O oh light. Come forth. Seer is gone. How did he leave the island? Hmm. Okay then. Is that all here? Looks like it. That means we need to start heading this way. Trying to make sure there's nothing like above us, quest wise. So let's fast travel here, jump down, and then head to our next one. Would like to do that one too, even though I won't use any of the stuff from it. Because funny enough that that uh, one quest that that I went over is like that uh, was like the first uh, crossover mission in a game I ever did. I play games that were just entire crossovers before. Just not a single mission that was a crossover. There we go. Let's just let a horse do the running for us. Once it starts taking terrible paths. So we should be able to go just straight over. Get that a little quicker. my tongue. Oh. If I do remember right, this region is one where as much as I wear our uh, the beginning of the game like uh, took place. Like not the Siwa part, the part with the whole scene of assassination and not this quest, though. I think it's, like, right around... I think it's this one right here, actually. I don't know. I think it's that one. That, that, that has to do with... What I was... Uh, with that thing. We need to actually go to the top? Looks like it. Before we go in, though, we know what we're dealing with. Each one should have a bunch of silica and treasure chests for us. Listen, this one just has one. Someone has been here recently. Okay. This 
blocked. There must be some way through. Oh. The tracks here are fresh. I remember this. There must be another way inside the tomb. We need to go in. I think it's that one. I think there's three entrances. And uh, one of them unlocks this side, basically. It gives a little hole to shoot through, uh, shoot fire through. Oh, hi, Snakes. Go. Wait, what was that? Oh. A little bit of loot. Something must be like that. Boom. And then that's that. Should be clear now. Bring that back out so we can see. And we'll run all the way back around again. I'm going to worry about putting the torch away, so I'm just going to need it instantly again. Go. This room. This is where my quest began. Someone has taken my life was undone here. Yet now there's a shrine. A memorial where none should be. Could this be for Rutjek? None could care for that snake that began this twisted quest, could they? Rutjek's arrow. I marked his name off my list with this. Now it sits on the ground, forgotten. Let's go and get this real quick. Someone has sealed this room. The smell of the blood I spilled still lingers here. A mummified heron. For resurrection. No. Whoever did this must have known of Rudjek's place in the order. Rudjek does not deserve a tomb, but this is an insult. This tomb was made for a pharaoh. Whoever did this has defiled this place. Believe. What snake? Rudjek's mask. I barely remember what happened after I stabbed him. This room has told me all I need to know. This place was a beginning for me, and an end for Rudjek. The arrow marked both of those things. After I stabbed that bastard, things went dark. When I came back to myself, Rudjek was dead. Rudjek's body should have been left to rot. He has been laid to rest with respect. By someone who wanted him to enter the Duat prepared. Whoever buried him also left this heron mummy to honor Rudjek with his god's damned namesake in the afterlife. They then returned here to pay respect to Rudjek. 
these candles are any indication. No matter what, I know Ruchek's heart was found lacking. That bastard suffers in the afterlife, no matter what was done here. I will be judged one day, but I do not regret my actions. The feather will always be lighter than my heart. All right. And I suppose we have enough time to do this. Because I do have one more video I plan on doing. Let's go over and get this started. Actually, it might not even take that long. Up we go. By all the gods, have they sent a message from the sky? It's as if Ra has descended upon us. Let's go and see what's up then. Okay, that's gonna complicate things for being Well there we go. That didn't take as long as I thought it would. Alright, let's get on over here. To do this little crossover mission, which if you know what you're doing doesn't take long. If you're as clueless as I was when I first did this, then it might take a little longer. <laughs> Even though it still really shouldn't, because they're just extremely simple. Glowing blue that fell from the earth uh, from the sky. As you'll see here, XB fifteen. Could this be referring to a sundial? I wonder. This number seems important. Of course, my brain didn't connect that this was a number at first. Important. As far as sundials go, uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what the other clue was. I think it's actually there. I think it's written on the sundial. We need to climb this. This must be the sundial that was depicted in the tomb. Oh wait, I forgot we can't skip back to morning from up there. Because I'd be entirely too far. <laughs> Have some realism, come on now. No, I... I do think it's weird that you can't use the skip thing, but I can't, it's supposed to be like Bayek sitting there meditating. These open and they each have markings. We need 15, there's only, and you only, only get three of them, so. Because it's one, three, and five. We only get three before it resets, and you get two chances per in game day. What have I done? I should check the tomb. And well, in we go. But, we'll finish this in the next one. So thank y'all for watching. 
and I'll see you then.